What's up, Bargain Family? Welcome back to my channel. So today, if you guys have a Dollar Tree haul, if you hear random noises, Pepper is on the ground biting something. Anyways, before we begin the Dollar Tree haul, as always, I'd like to share with you guys my graphic t-shirt. And this week, I am wearing this Nickelodeon long sleeve uh, shirt. And let me tell you guys, I love this thing. So I got this for my brother-in-law. He actually bought it for me. He went to Journeys and he got me and so he bought this for me. And I really like it because of the color. It is that Nickelodeon color and then it says Nickelodeon across the arm. I own a lot of Nickelodeon shirts and none in this um, color. So yeah, there's just a bunch of characters. I see Rugrats characters, Angry Beavers, Run Stimpy, Rockwell's Modern Life, uh, Real Monsters, Wild Thornberry, Berries, <laughs> Hey Arnold. Um, I think those are the only characters that I see on this, so if you're interested, journey. Now let's begin the Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to start off my haul with my favorite item I found this week at Dollar Tree, and that was Christmas signs. My favorite one out of them all is this one that says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, Pine Spruce Fur. I just like it because it has that, like, woodland farmhouse Christmas theme. Then I was able to find these mason jars. They say have a jolly Christmas, and these would be perfect inside of a tear tray. I know people are going to be doing so many DIYs out of those. And then I found this one that says Merry Christmas. So all of these for a buck, you're not going to find them a dollar like this. Uh-uh. You ain't going to get this at Hobby Lobby for a buck. No way, Jose. Moving right along, earlier this week I uploaded a Come With Me to Dollar Tree. The bigger Dollar Trees are going to be getting new crafting aisles in, and it's super cool. I'll link it down below for you guys. But I went to another Dollar Tree, and there was another new aisle. And I'm doing this because it wasn't necessarily aisle. It was like a section, but a big section and it was called fun finds i'll insert some of the footage here right now but i ended up purchasing three items from the fun finds section the first of which is this makeup brush cleansing mat really cool now i've used mats like this before they're like silicone mats and what you do is you take your makeup brush and you work it through this with like soap on it and the little like grooves inside of this helps the um dirt come off of the brushes real nicely so i'm gonna give this one a try this is in the shape of a mermaid tail then the next thing i got was this jumble jumbo narwhal eraser and this is a gigantic eraser i cannot imagine going through this entire thing and i bet you once you start going through the entire thing you start feeling bad because the narwhal will start disappearing and then i got this really pretty book notebook book it's not a book notebook and it says hustle on the cover it's in gold metallic um writing and then you open it up and there's this picture really pretty tropical floral but when you close it up like this the front cover it just looks really nice like it looks like something you would get at like urban outfitters um forever 21 and that's what the section kind of reminded me of it just reminded me of items that a teenager young adult would all like. Near that section, I found new trinket trays. Now, I've seen unicorn ones in before, but I haven't seen them in white. And I've also seen elephant ones in before, but I haven't seen them in this green color. And then I got this gold metallic cat, which is a ring holder. And I actually really, really like this one. I found some new home decor at Dollar Tree this week. It is these picture frames. One says, welcome to our beautiful chaos. Another one says, a house full of love. And the next one says, do all things with great love. Each one has a wood looking image in the back of it and then a different color picture frame. And all of the picture frames kind of have like a wood grain appearance to them. Another new home decor framed image that I found this week was this clear one, but there is a barn on the front of it and it says, farm fresh i really like this one there was other images but i wasn't like a big fan of them now this one i want to take one of my stationary wood looking papers and put it on the back so this really stands out i have been looking at every single dollar tree near my house for this product i have been tagged on instagram a bunch of times and i still haven't been able to find the entire display but basically dollar tree right now has these ioni 3d fox mink lashes and apparently there's a big display of them with different lashes this week I was only able to find one lash, literally, there was just one lash. It is the Wispy Drama 4 Wispy Dramatic Lashes. They just look really full and just soft and delicate versus like other brands you usually buy in the drugstore. So this is, like I said, it's supposed to be foaming lashes. So hey, we'll see how this ends up turning out. On to the really fun stuff. Now I told you guys I actually got the new crafting aisle in and I'm going to show you guys what I ended up purchasing from the aisle. So let's start off with my favorite thing that the aisle had. These little wood crate boxes. I had one of the first crate DIY tutorials um, and it was actually last fall uh, using Dollar Tree products and I had used a bunch of like tumble block pieces to make it. Now you could just go to Dollar Tree and buy 
it already made for you and that's what I would prefer to do so yeah I want to take some of these do some DIYs with them especially right now for fall time and I want to actually use some of these on my table back there then they got stickers and stencils galore and it all looks like stuff you would buy at another craft store so I got these two Try lace flexible stencils. They are just in two different fonts. Don't know the fonts. And then I got three of these Christmas stencils. I got one that says Santa, stop, please, here. I don't know. I think I read that messed up. Seasons, greetings, and let us know. And then they come with another stencil, each one on the back of them, that has just different Christmas type of um, images. Then they got a bunch of rub on transfers, my favorite, and the one that I feel like is gonna fly off the shelf is this one that has a bunch of greenery on it, lots of eucalyptus, there's a wreath, and then just a bunch of twigs. And then I got these two that have different fonts. It's a gold metallic foil, um, and it's just two different fonts with a bunch of letters. And like I said, I feel like all of these are just gonna fly off the shelf. I've never used a rub on transfer before, but it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions on the back. Hopefully it's easy to do. Then finally from that sticker section, I got these jewel border stickers. It's like a silver and regular pearl white color. And then the other one is a gold and then like a copper type of color. I got some chalkboard related items. I got two packs of chalkboard tags. One has six and one has four, two different shapes. And what's really nice about these is it's wood it's not paper and like i said it's wood so it's even nicer and it's very sturdy and then i got the chalkboard tag close pins this girl is trying to walk away with my stickers look at this well now she dropped them girl those don't taste good i don't i don't even get it i don't get it okay now you're biting on the crate okay listen this is not a chew toy. Stop it. Stop it. I don't care how cute you are. You can't be eating this. You could get a splinter. I got a bunch more wood crafts. I got two picture frames. I don't know the name of this shape. This one's just a square. And then the picture cutouts are different. This one is a heart and that one is just a plain square. I got some oval plaques. Hopefully these come in handy. I was really excited to see this, just like straight up regular wood. And then I got some hanging signs. Um, these two right here, I got an arrow and whatever the heck shape this one is. This just is like a straight up sign shape. Another one of those items I was like, yes, to see was this pack of Woodcraft cubes. There's 36 in here. I have used cubes before in DIYs, but never from Dollar Tree. And then I bought, um, what? Then I purchased one of the already made bird houses. Like I said, before in that video that I uploaded on Monday, Dollar Tree does carry like little packages where you can glue the pieces together and you make a wood um, birdhouse. But you know what? It's so much better to just buy it already made, honestly. Half the time you glue it all wonky. One of the coolest things I saw in the new crafting aisle were bigger canvases. These are much bigger than what they previously carried that had like blue writing on it, blue boxes that they came inside of. These two that I bought are eight by 10 inches. They have one that's even bigger than this, but the um, canvas doesn't come with like a thicker piece of wood. It's just like very, very thin and just kind of folded in. So I purchased two of these. Somebody is mowing their grass out there. I'm really sorry about that. Then I got a pack of these glass pearls, four different sizes, and there are 135 pieces approximately in this. And then I got these glass containers, two different sizes, the four pack, the glass containers are a bit bigger, and then the one in the five pack, they are smaller. I used to use glasses like this. Um, if you are familiar with Zelda, they have little fairies inside of jars, and I used to use jars like this to make little fairies and put them inside of there. Another really cool item they got in is an X-Acto knife. Um, this is called the Scrap Tillity Knife Set. It comes with like the base of it and then six different blades. Hope it works well. The last thing I want is for like the blade to fly out and I cut myself. Then I got a detailing scissor and then I got some new paint brushes. So these are new to Dollar Tree. I hope it's the same quality as the paint brushes I'm used to getting. I get brushes that look like this from Royal Lane Nickel. They come in like a 10 or 12 pack, I can't remember offhand from Walmart. So these were a buck a piece. There's three different kind of packaging you can choose from. Two of them have three brushes in them and then one of them has two of them. I purchased one of these metallic markers. They had them in four different colors, gold, silver, blue, and then this one that I called rose gold. But it could also be copper, but in my opinion, it looks more like rose gold. The final item I have to share with you guys are these wreaths. How cool, they have two different sizes. I already used the smaller size, um, but I purchased two of the bigger size. They are bamboo wreaths. 
And these are new to Dollar Tree. Usually they just have like the willow branch wreaths. Um, the one that's, I think it's just called branches and then the foam one. These are absolutely new. I sat down for one second to get the arrow away from her and um, she fell asleep. So anyways, that is it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. And last week, I wanted to know what is your favorite holiday. And of course, what I saw the most of was Christmas followed by Halloween. And I just kind of think it's funny that literally, like, those are everybody's favorite holidays. Not too many. Well, I know there's probably still a good amount of people that like Thanksgiving. But, like, not as many as I feel like growing up back in the day. I felt like a lot like Thanksgiving a lot. But now it's just not the same. It's just like Christmas, Christmas, Halloween. I still, I still love me some Thanksgiving though because the food is on point. Candy damn. So for this week's question, help a girl out. What is your favorite store to shop for home decor? Um, lately, I've just been going to a bunch of stores. I like Burlington and like Ross because it's inexpensive. But the issue with that is like lots of times the ones that I live near, they're really empty and you just have to get lucky that you find something. So I really do like those stores, but like... I have to go to different ones to come up with some things that I like. But I'm trying to decorate the home. It's kind of funny. Matt. So I love farmhouse decor. But I love like kind of when it looks cluttered. Honestly. Like when there's throw blankets everywhere. And throw pillows. Matt absolutely hates throw pillows. Um, where there's just like just a bunch of cute things in each kind of corner of the house. And Matt. He's like over it. Like he's like no this is too much. This is too much. And I'm like this is not enough. What are you talking about? So I'm still looking for things to fill the front room to fill our bedroom up with i want to get a, a throw rug under there and a new one where i'm standing but i can't yet because pepper is not yes yet um like potty trained so she keeps peeing all over the carpet so this thing is going into the trash once she completely understands it she's pretty good i would say 80 percent of the time she goes outside but then 20 percent she has her accident I like Hobby Lobby for like images and clocks and I got this clock um, at Hobby Lobby like a month ago and then like a couple of days ago all of a sudden the clock stopped working. So I'm going to see if I can find the receipt and return it because like it's just stuck there. And it has nothing to do with the batteries dying. It's like the hands are like too loose and I try to tighten them and they won't and they're just like stuck in that kind of like downward position. So again let me know your favorite store to shop for home decor down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this week's Dollar Tree haul. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Really? Can I please have it? Can I have it? Can I have the pepper? Can I have the pepper? Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on. Come on. I need this. I need it for crafting. It is not for you. Okay? Love you. Bye.